This brief video illustrates how to use Geoda to perform second assignment. Notice that the uh, second assignment would have these four files and they refer to the census tract data set. DBF, you can open it up in Excel, but the shape file, which is the one which is um, has the extension of type SHP, that's the one you, you need um, to um, start and work with Geoda. I will move the file explorer to the side and here in Geoda I say file and look for new and then this dialog box appears and I can simply drag the shape file SHP file I click on it and drop it here and by dropping it I can see that the shape file has been opened by Geoda. That's it. So you need to know which shape file to drop. This is the SHP file, not any other file. But you need four of these files together in the same folder to be able to work with it. So now that this um, map has displayed, I can look at the data view. And within the data view, let's say I'm interested in plotting the population density variable or to see if uh, uh, let's say just the population density variable this is the population density variable here so I can say um, map here map and um, natural breaks map I want five breaks and I can pick population density from here and the new map appears and you could see there, and if I would like to zoom in, I can zoom into the city of Toronto. The highest density neighborhoods are in downtown Toronto. And if I want to do a scatter plot between uh, a dependent variable, uh, which could be, let's say, uh, percentage of ch population that is under the age of four, that is families with children, I'll put that on the Y variable and let's say density. Um, uh, as an explanatory variable so I will keep density as the next variable and I can plot it and here you go and now you could see this uh, particular uh, map that you could see that as the population density increases we see a slight increase in the uh, percentage of households with children under the age of five